This is going to be a lifestyle video. Stay tuned. I have a lot to say. So this is a long overdue video, um, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, have, by the way, happy belated 4th of July. So over the 4th of July weekend, I was blessed to be able to attend a family reunion. And there were some things that arose prior to the reunion and some things that I noticed during the reunion. I'd like to officially I declare, I've mentioned it in uh, many videos, but I believe that it, I want to specifically address it now because it plays into what happened over the 4th of July. But I am battling cancer and I eat meat. Now, meat is not my primary source of nutrients and I eat meat in its proper proportion, meaning that the meat is a side item. And I also make sure that I'm not eating synthetic, genetically modified, processed fake meat. You know, my meat has no nitrates, it's grass fed, um, wild caught, organic meat. And that is nourishing and nutrients for the body. There are a lot of proteins or um, amino acids in meat that are life supporting. So let me just say, there are a lot of theories and ideologies out there that suggest that meat is harmful and death, a death sentence. And I, it's been my experience because everything that I do, it is, um, I get my guidance from the Word of God. And if God gives me the release to be able to enjoy and eat meat, then that is what I'm going to do. Men have a tendency of going uh, not far enough or way overboard. Um, in the Bible, it says that you can eat what you want to eat as long as your eating is unto God and you bless it. And I definitely bless my food because even though I mostly eat organic or non-GMO foods, you really don't know what happens during you know, the handling of by the manufacturer. So my overall covering is to involve God and I'm still here, so it must work. So I honestly believe, and it's according to my faith, that God kept me in sort of a spiritual bubble where I was allowed to, in ignorance, find out what works for me and the base fundamental things that my body required to sustain and heal. And um, it wasn't until 2016, so I was diagnosed in 2012, and it wasn't until 2016 that I got the information that there was actually alternative uh, practices that are effective and that do uh, have great results and do allow people to overcome sickness and disease. But for me and my personality type, I could have seen myself being, because stress kills too, um, overbearing, overfocused, crazed about completing and doing one of these protocols that that would have been destructive for me. Also putting my hope in manly things instead of up in heaven where I'm able to sustain. So um, in, from 2012 to 2016, I talk about it in a lot of videos, God, I believe, gave me the fundamentals for me to heal. It's going to be different for everyone. And some people may need a protocol. Um, and they are, it's great information, and I definitely have grown my understanding and implemented several of the concepts in these protocols to help me continue to strengthen my immune system and overcome disease. But I do video, I did videos about them, they're all on this channel, but, you know, with the water, the eliminations, the fruits and vegetables, um, balancing out my diet and things like that, those are the base things that I have found to be, um, beneficial for me to uh, sustain life.
So over the 4th of July ho holiday, I was scheduled to go to a family uh, reunion, and I had my concerns about it prior to regarding the food because I knew that there was not going to be much care put into the quality and the type of food that was going to be available to eat. Um, and so I prayed and I asked God, and I was just like, you know, I... I have a good diet, I am disciplined, and I'm responsible. Um, let me just enjoy this weekend, because I knew the food was going to be epic, and I knew the food was going to be good, and I just felt already a sense of loneliness from me not being able to enjoy food like everyone else was going to, to enjoy food. So I'm not going to say I ate with all confidence, but I did uh, sample in the food. The first day there, I ate um, some hot dogs that I found out were not the best quality hot dogs. Um, I love hot dogs, hot dogs, by the way. And then later on, there was another party, and I ate um, the food there. And I just tried to focus on getting, you know, a lot of uh, greens and things in on my plate, although they weren't, you know, premium, you know, organic or not GMO. And I ate, and I ate fine, and I enjoyed myself. I did, however, just think for a moment that I was going to get me some barbecue. And I haven't had barbecue in, I don't know how long. I don't know if they were pork or beef, but juicy, I can't even say it, fragrant, juicy barbecue this thick. And I, I got it. I grabbed it, and... <laughs> It was full of meat. And I'm going to tell you, I tried to bite that piece of barbecue three different times. I felt guilty anyway because I knew that this meat was not healthy meat. But three different times on all this meat on this barbecue, and I hit a bone each and every time. On the third time, I was like, okay, Lord, all right, enough. And I threw the barbecue away. Um, I did not eat that. I know that probably would have had me under the bed. But <clears throat> to my... Um, this appointment the next day, I did suffer. I woke up heavy. Um, I woke up with pressure. I woke up unable to go to the bathroom. And I just was fatigued and tired that whole day. And so I just went about that day trying to detox myself, got me a salad. Um, and uh, a salad, I focused on my water, and then I got me some detox tea from the store. And I just nurtured on myself that whole day, and I was able to, by the evening time, gain some of my composure back. But there was another, you know, eating um, that day. And so I wound up trying to do a healthy option, I thought, um, and wound up making the wrong selection. And my head that night was beating. It was like I... I, it was banging. It was beating. I could not sleep. I It was sheer torture. And after that, I shut it down. And that next day, I just went to Whole Foods and got the stuff that I needed and stayed on what I know works for me. So another thing that I came that I encountered was this thing or this idea that I don't eat meat or that I don't eat normal, or I don't eat at all. And <clears throat> it's something that I have always <laughs> dealt with with my family because, you know, I have bones and things sticking out, and I am skinnier than I've ever been in life. Um, I've always been skinny, but healthily, you know, meat skinny, like, you know, with meat on my bones. But there was this, 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 thing going around. And there's also this ideal that um, I eat the way that I eat because it's what I did to myself. So the thing that I don't eat meat or I don't eat a lot or I don't eat much of anything, it's not true. I eat what everyone else eats. I eat the same type of things that everyone else eats, but I eat them in their proper proportions, and I always make sure that my meals include a healthy serving of fruits and fruit and or vegetables. So I eat hamburgers. I eat tacos. I eat pizza. I eat pastas. I eat 
organic cereals. I eat regular food. It's just real food. And I know that the body, when you're eating healthy and you're eating balanced, the body has a comfort weight and a weight that it maintains by itself without diet or ex without exercise. <clears throat> and I'm not saying that this is my comfort weight because I do believe that I have other blockages because of my graying hair and things like that, the bags under my eyes and certain other cues that I'm, there's more, a little bit more for me, distance for me to go, but, um, I eat regular food. So the other thing was that I eat this way because, um, or I eat a certain way because I want to eat that way or I eat a certain way and then I made my body that only be able to, to, to handle those type of things. So anytime you're drinking milk or you're eating a hamburger or you're eating nachos or you're having going about your casual life and you wake up heavy, bloated, gassy, um, headache, you wake up already with a burden on you. And then after you eat, stuff starts to happen. Your sinuses kick in. Your nose stops up. All this mucus is generated. Those are the things that I've found to be cues that I'm doing something wrong. So I didn't make my body do what it does. It, uh, it was already telling me. It's, it's, it's telling many people. Other people's bodies are saying the same thing. I just because of the death threat, began to listen. And once I started to make the eliminations, I found that my existence was better. So my body actually told me what it was that I could eat, and I just followed. I didn't tell my body what it could eat. And so that's all that I wanted to say. I just wanted to do the video saying that I eat regular. I eat uh, what everyone else is eating. I just don't, I honestly don't uh, focus on junk food. I don't eat commercial cookies. I may eat chocolate chip cookies, but they're organic. All the ingredients are organic, and it's sparingly. I eat regular. I continue to heal and grow. And um, until next time, thanks for watching.